there we are, another week, another vlog. My, all my weeks are odd because the things that I have to do are always, I don't have a, I don't have a standard week. This week, we had gas lines replaced in the neighborhood. Well, it's Monday morning in the ghetto. I'm not going to work this morning because they're rerunning gas lines in the neighborhood. And they have to come into the house to move the old meter outside and re-plumb the gas lines in the house. So, I'm sitting here drinking coffee, waiting for them to show up. I suspect they won't be here for another hour or two at least. I know they're out working, it's after 7, they usually start at 7, but I think they're starting down the street so they probably won't be here till I'm guessing 9 or 10. So I'll drink coffee and I will do some software or some video editing. Drink some more coffee. Thursday already. Where'd the week go? I, uh, I finished my screenplay last night. And it's one of several I've written, but this was a feature, which means it's longer than a lot of the short film screenplays that I've written. Um, this screenplay was very difficult for me to finish. When I sit down to write a screenplay, I have all the distractions everyone has, Facebook, uh, social media in general, uh, the sudden need to look something up. Uh, sometimes when I'm writing a screenplay, I have to do legitimate research, which gets me sidetracked for way too much time. But when I sat down to write this, I would always, it was always, it was always something that was, it, there was resistance. It always felt like it took more out of me. I would get done and be emotionally drained when I would finish writing for the day. I mean, when I'm writing something I'm really into, it takes a lot out of me, but this just drained me. But last night, I finished the first draft. We'll let it sit for at least a month, and then I'll start revisions. It's a major victory, and I'm excited about it. I know I sound excited, but I am excited about it. Uh, so, yay! This week, I really started using Beam. My ID on Beam, if you decide to, it's B-E-M-E. -E. Um, if you decide, if, you're, if, you have, if you use Beam or if you start using Beam, uh, I'm Brute Squad on that. B-R-U-T-E Squad, S-Q-U-A-D, it's all one word. As I'm shooting this, this is actually Mother's Day, but we went and had uh, a Mother's Day get together yesterday so that she'd be able to relax today and not have to worry about a bunch of people coming and going on a Sunday. I also uh, took my niece out for the second part of her Christmas present. Um, each of my nieces and nephews this year, I got them something for Christmas, but it involved activity, actually me spending time with them. I felt that that was uh, more important than this stuff. And I remember what my aunts and uncles did with me much more than anything they ever got me. 
Okay, so today I spent with my niece, Sophia. And uh, Sophia, what did we do today? We got to go to Corral, we went to Half Price Books, we also went to Barnes and Nobles, which was my Christmas present. We also visited Mama, and we got hot chocolate, I believe. Speaking of being an uncle, uh, we had an Unks Place board meeting this week, and it went well. Uh, for those who don't know, Unks Place is a not-for-profit group home that's in its startup stages. It's uh, to help foster children. Um, and I feel strongly about this, so I'm on the board and I'm trying to help make something happen for kids who started a huge disadvantage. This week was a perfect week of uh, just how I'm productive, how to be productive. This is a big deal in my life because at some point I realized uh, for all the creative things I want to do, I, they're not all going to get done. All the stuff that I want to do, there's no way to get it done before I die. There's just too much. Um, I'm going to do as much as I can, but I have to balance that with a day job right now. Um, I have obligations, and uh, none of which I am sorry to have. It would be different if I felt that I was obligated to things that I shouldn't be obligated to, but I'm okay with the thing, the promises I've made. Uh, it's just that to get the creative aspect of my life where I would like it to be, it's, it's just not going to happen before I die. That means I have to be productive. For me to be productive, what I do is I get up early and I go to bed early. I find that when I get up and I'm up before other people, I can get more things done. Um, I think most people's tendency is to stay up late and then even go to bed late and go on little sleep, I find that I'm not very productive that way. If I go to bed early enough to get between a minimum of six hours of sleep, but usually I shoot for about eight, uh, then I can get more done in the day if I stay focused. So I have to be very flexible, which I don't think is natural. I think, I think most humans tend to want to get into a routine and follow that routine. Well, I don't have that. And so there are times where I am much less productive and usually it's when I need a break. So instead of giving myself a break, I've tried to push through, I've tried to get stuff done and then I end up taking the break anyway and just shutting down for a few days and getting nothing done. And I'm not, I'm trying to get better at that. The other thing is I've had to let go of things that aren't important. I, yeah. I can let go of those things, and sometimes I'm not good at that because I want to do all the things I think I'm supposed to. All right, that's it for this week. I hope you have a great week, and uh, catch you then.